Hispanic lifestyle traveled to Newport Beach, where the National Association of Latino Independent Producers were gathering for their 10th annual conference. We met with Eddie Pagan, a New York-based filmmaker, who shared his thoughts on why he travels across the country to participate in the conference. One of the things that I find interesting about the Nalip conference, and I think it has a little bit to do with that Latino charm, is that, you know, when you come to a conference, it tends to be a little bit cutthroat. Everybody's looking to promote their project. Um, you do meet people, but it's very, it's a business. It's kind of very business-like. But when you come to a Nalip conference, one of the things that stands out, apart from any of the other ones throughout the country and abroad, is that you get that affection. People come up to you. It's more about wanting to know you, what your project, uh, what project you're promoting. And it's a genuine affection. You know, people want to know that you're doing well. Uh, they want to know more about your projects. And, and, and there's no levels of barrier about whether you're a seasoned filmmaker or you're emerging. You know, you could be one minute talking with someone who's here for the first time, and the next minute you could be shaking hands with James Edward Olmos. And it could be the same feeling that if you just met someone who's starting out. <laughs> Nobody looks down on you, it's, it's, it's on equal footing. You know, even when they do the plenaries and the panels, seldom are you going to find the speakers on some stage removed from the audience. You're going to find that it's just pe peers talking to peers. It's familia, and that's what kind of sets the vibe. But aside from the feeling of, of, of kinship, uh, for people coming together as a Latino family, you also have the, the information. You have technical information. You have panels that are giving you uh, the latest on technology, on how to get proposals uh, in the canon ready as a business plan. You're also going to be able to show your film. And then you're also rubbing elbows with the people that have the capacity to green light your project. You know, So it's, it's one big, all-consuming conference that really keeps you vested in coming back year after year. And actually, I think this is about the eighth year that I've come myself. I didn't come last year because I was also making the transition from being on the board, et cetera, to getting my projects off the ground. But this year, I'm able to come as a filmmaker, just also promoting my, uh, my films and also just trying to get other people, meeting other people that, that can make that happen. Well, I think the first thing you do is you, you, you meet people and you surround yourself with people that want a professional, whether they're emerging or in the, already in seasoned professionals. You surround yourself with people that, can, that believe in your project, that believe in you, and that are not in it just for the money. Um, you, as long as you bring the passion to the project, you know, people will believe in it and they'll give more. You can have a small budget, but if you have that passion and you show that one, you're creative, that the project is worth the effort, and you can convince other people of that, they'll invest their energy into it too, and you're gonna get more out of it, regardless of what your budget is. And the other thing is never give up, have tenacity, because you're gonna put in proposals, you're gonna talk to people at pitch sessions, and you're gonna get some rejections, that's part of the pro process, you know, not everybody's gonna buy into your project, but as long as you have that tenacity, that you believe in your project in the long term, and you keep hitting the bricks, you know, it'll get done. People will believe in you, eventually you'll find the right mix and you'll get the project done.